Okay, this is a video on the use of site survey to close a traverse. So in order to get started, go ahead and log on to your account and hit start programs, BCM applications, and go to Simplicity Systems. Um, not Simplicity Systems 2009, Simplicity Systems. And click on Site Survey 3.0. And it'll come up with this, these screens right here that you see. And at this point, we'll go ahead and it says from point. So it's ready to go right off the bat. So we'll go ahead and hit from point number one and hit enter. And then it asks for your northern and your easting and your elevation. We'll put in 1,000 as our north and 5,000 as our east. And we don't have elevations yet. We'll get those after we do our digital level loop. But we'll just go ahead and leave that at zero for right now. So hit accept. It asks for the description of point one. Well, we're on uh, quad number five, so we're starting with point 11A. So we'll put 11A right there and hit enter. And we've also already got our data down here at the bottom and a screen up here that's showing our point. We're going to have a, di a direction from 11 down to 14, and I'm going to pick 170 degrees, 170 degrees. And that's an azimuth, so F5. And the distance from 11 to 14. And that distance from 11 to 14 is 205.344. And hit enter. And it asks for a description of point two. And point two is number 14. So I hit 14, enter. And now we have our first line on our traverse. Then we, it asks for from point two to three. Well, we're going to go to the next point. And the next point on this particular traverse is point 13. And we're going to turn an angle right. We're going clock, counterclockwise around our traverse for a reason, because we can put angles to the right in easily. So we go counterclockwise. So we want to look for the angle in our field notes here for point number 14. and. The angle at 14 is 117 degrees, oops, 117, point 3552, three, 35 minutes and 52 seconds. That's going to be an angle to the right, so angle to the right is F6 up here. We just go ahead and hit our F6 key, function key, and then we need to put our distance in for 13 to 14, and that's 234 point. 1, 1035, hit enter, and it asks for the next point, the description. And we're going from 14 to 13, so we'll put 13 in, enter, and now we've got two legs of our traverse shown on our screen, and all of our data is also showing up down here. So now we need the angle here at point 13, and the angle at point 13 is 89 degrees. So we'll put 89.13 minutes, 15 seconds. And we're going an angle right again, so F6. And the distance from uh, 13 to 12 is 287.636. We'll go ahead and hit enter. We're going to point 12C, actually, is the proper name of it, and we now have those legs of our traverse. Now we're going to go ahead and close back towards point one, but we're not going to call it point one at this stage. We're going to use the angle to the right here at point 12, which is 72.47, may have four two four two five, half a second, and F6, and the distance from Point 12 to point 11 is 342.0165 is what they have. We'll hit enter. We're going back to 11A. So we'll put 11A into our notes at this stage. And now we've got it all done. And so we would want to go ahead and close our traverse. So we type in TC. So TC. And now it brings up a new screen. It says close to. And it says up here point 0.5. There's a point 0.5 here, even though there's a point 0.1. But we want to close from 5 to, what, to point 0.1 instead. So we'll put a 1 in there. 
And then it has bearing distance. Go ahead and hit enter twice on that. Three times, actually. Now it brings up a new window. It says enter closing angle right. There's only one angle we haven't used, and that's the one here at point 11. So we'll go ahead and come up here and pick up that angle at point 11. It was 80 degrees, 23 minutes, 43 seconds. We'll help go ahead and hit enter. It says, would you like to save your work before balancing the traverse? Of course we do. So we'll go ahead and hit Y for yes. And we'll type in our crew number or quad number, quad five. And I'll just put it uh, 2010, so I'll put five, a 10 on it. And I'll hit enter. And it saved the file. Now it says that our Trevor is closed at 1 in 31,677. Our requirements, 1 in 30,000, so this traverse is acceptable. We're off 200s in our latitude, 200s in our departure, but we want to close that. We closed using the compass rule. So we'll go ahead and click on compass rule. It says, would you like to balance angles? No, we don't balance angles in this particular case. We don't do it exactly the way we did it in 112, so we hit no. It's now closed this. It has an, a 1 over infinity, basically. The latitude and departure errors are all zero. And we'll go ahead and bring this screen across here and take this screen across over here for you. You can see then that the original coordinates of let's say point 14 were 797.775. The new coordinates are 797.770. So it adjusted it by just five thousandths. And our east is 5032.6566 and 50, I mean 5035. And this is 5035.6533. So a slight amount of closure. So we're back to this window and we'll go ahead and hit accept. And now all our, of our coordinates are accepted, our coordinates are adjusted. We have those coordinates down here in our text file. It'd be appropriate now to go ahead and plot those coordinates because we're going to need them to enter into our data collector. So we'll go up here to File, Print Text. And it springs up a TDS PDF generator. You do not want that. You want the B017 Lab Printer. So click on Lab Printer, hit OK, and it just printed our coordinates for that, our, our list of coordinates and our data for that traverse. So that's how you go about closing a traverse when you come in from the field with your data after having measured your traverse data.